Hey historians, Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter here on another adventure. Just had my week in Terrytown, New York, Sleepy Hollow, came back to Salem and stuff, came back to Maine, slept for a day or two, did my vodcast, <laughs> and now we're at, this doesn't do it no justice, and it isn't that bright out here, but hopefully you can see that this is the Katahdin uh, Iron Works. Uh, Mount Katahdin is, in, is uh, Maine's biggest mountain. As you can see here, I was talking to the people inside. There's no money to come see this, but I did donate $5 and get a t-shirt. Um, there used to be a hotel here. This used to be a little town. And uh, there was, uh, this is where you check in here. There's a little covered bridge there, which goes to another site that we're not going to go to today. But um, there's a little silo mill over there. We're going to check that out. And there's some more here info. Now, a lot of these have been here throughout the time. It's, it's like basically an old ironworks where you would just put coal in there and different stuff, make things, as you can see here in the 1800s. But a lot of them have disappeared through the years, have been, you know, not kept up well. Uh, but this one looks in pretty, in pretty good shape, actually. Um, though it has all but vanished, this is the scene that would have appeared directly in front of you Have you visited this spot in the 1880s. Wow. So there would have been a train through here. Very cool. Let's go check it out. We're losing daylight. I took a little road trip to go get some milk from my house, and then I realized I might as well check out Atlas Obscura, still kind of new to the area, and in Brownville, fairly close to my home, is this beautiful thing that you see on Atlas Obscura and a lot of sites. This is a grist mill there. Look at this, dude. And you can walk right up to it. Wow, that's pretty. Look at that. They go on top. My legs hurt me a little bit, got a little bit of a limp. Don't mind me, I'm a little crooked. Wow, we're gonna go in there in a minute, historians. And this is free, uh, you know, I talked to the people here and no worries. The pig iron process, dropping stuff down. There's old foundations there, old that, and we're going in, because <laughs> we can, that's why. Explorers, historians, researchers, Wow, woo, this is killer, dude, wow, we are in the pit, whoa, this is where they used to burn stuff, man, look at that, whoa, it's all seared from the, wow, they burn stuff, oh, and there's tons of bird shit, but that's fine, oh, man, that is killer, I can get through that, right, historians? Explorers! <laughs> wow! And there's a road, damn road. There must be a dam out there. Whoa! Here we go. Oh, and you know, you know, we're taking it. That used to get so hot, man. Ah, oh, the bricks. That's killer. That is killer filler. Killer filler. Wow, we went inside that. Gotta come back and take some pictures, but I wanna show you guys the kiln first. That's cool. So here's where there's the original road went through, through town. There was originally a sign here, looks like, which is pretty crazy. These trees knocked down. Look at that bad boy. That's killer, dude. That was killer inside. I'm gonna shut this camera off here in a minute. Take some pictures first. And enjoy a little bit of time here. But after we see this little cutie. Look at this. Hello. There goes the road, the former road. Pretty crazy. Way to get in this bad boy. Oh boy. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Tachi, 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 tachi. No way to get in. Oh, there was a way to get in. 
Hello. Well, there's the opening. Very cool. Katahdin Ironworks, Katahdin, Maine. Um, there is some rapids and stuff, and you can pay money to go to the campsite across the bridge, but nah. We'll go do that next time. And we'll record that next time. But for now, Adam Historian Ghost Hunter, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and you can find some killer, killer places. I'd love to show you. If you can't explore, let me explore for you. And if you can't explore, let me show you some new places. So, thanks for historians. Have a good one.